Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and Apple has released the sixth beta of iOS 17 just a week after releasing the fifth beta, which means that we now on a new area, we're moving to the one week schedule on releases of iOS 17 betas. Of course, as we get very, very close to the final release of iOS 17 to the public. Now this beta will come to your device at around 700 megabytes. Of course, that's always different based on which device you're using and which software you have currently installed on your device. Now the build number for iOS 17 beta 6 will be 21A5312C. It ends with a C, which means that we're very, very close to the release of the RC version and then of course the public release of iOS 17. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this update. We have 12 new features to talk about that Apple has included with this update. But first of all, let's just take a look at the calendar right here. So based on this schedule, we might see another three betas before Apple releases the RC version and then the public release. So ex expect new beta next week, beta seven, and then on the 29th, most likely another beta, then another one on the 5th of September before Apple releases the RC version, which will most likely be on September 12th, which should be the day that Apple holds the iPhone 15 event. And then the 18th will most likely be the day that Apple releases iOS 17 to the public with all these new features and changes. So let's go ahead and talk about the 12 new features that you will find on iOS 17 beta six. Now, first of all, we're going to the settings app. Now, this is a change more than a feature, but it actually will have a lot of impact for a lot of users, especially if you have a device with lower capacity. So if you go to settings general and then go under iPhone storage, you will notice here a big change. If you go here to system data, you will see that now system data will be just over 10 gigs. Now with iOS 17, since we've been on these betas of iOS 17, this was very, very high for most iOS users. It would be somewhere around 20 to 22 or even more gigabytes. So that will of course take a ton of space on your device, especially if you don't have enough storage, that is a lot. So this has changed and now is much, much lower. Moving into the music app. So on the music app, when you're playing a song or you just go maybe to a playlist or anywhere where you can find a song, if you 3D touch on it, and then if you tap the album art, now it takes you to the album of that song. So if I just tap there, it will take me straight to the album. Now this was a feature that was previously on iOS, but then it has been removed and now is back with iOS 17 beta 6. Apple has finally made the change to the phone app. Now, the end call button used to be in this corner right here, and a lot of people suggested that it would be better being in the middle. Finally, Apple has changed that, and now when you're on the call, you will find the end call button in the middle, which in most cases will actually be way easier to reach than if you're holding a phone like this, you just tap here, rather than just like stretching out here and just reaching for the corner to end your call. We have some changes on the spotlight search as well. You know, on the spotlight search on iOS 17, when you search for settings, you will get these shortcuts. So if you tap show more, you will get a bunch of different shortcuts here that you can use to enable or disable settings. You will now have true tone here. This has been added with iOS 17 beta six. And also you will have your focus modes, which you can now enable directly from the spotlight search. So as easy as that, you can see right there that we have the toggle. You can just go ahead and switch on and off any focus mode you want directly from the spotlight search. There's also a minor change here on the stocks widget, the smaller one. So you can see the price right there. It used to be big, like it would take all these bottom part right here from one corner to another. Now it's smaller, it's on the right side here. And we also have the line right there, the chart. We have that line, which wasn't previously there. And a very welcome change here on the shortcuts app, Toggle Seller Plan now works. So this is a feature that Apple has added to the shortcuts app previously, but it actually wasn't working at all. Now you can actually use this and you can create shortcuts to just switch between different seller plans that you might have on your device. So if you have like multiple SIMs and eSIM or stuff like that, now you can use this shortcut to quickly switch between those plans. 
A very welcome change here on the iMessage app. So we have this plus button right here that if you tap on it, it shows you the apps. And previously, if you would just tap and hold, it would just basically do the same. Now, if you tap and hold, it will actually show your photos. If you want to share any photos, you can quickly do it that way without actually having to go to the iMessage app in order to choose one of your photos. So just tap and hold the plus button. You will get a little animation here and that way you can have quick access to all of your photos. Moving into the settings app for another change for iMessage. So if you go to the iMessage settings and you go to iMessage apps, you will now get these toggles which will allow you to actually enable or disable any of the apps that you have on your iMessage apps. So if you see there an app that you don't want to have there, you can quickly just go ahead and switch them on or off directly from here. Another change has been made here under display and brightness. So if you go to display and brightness, finally Apple has changed the wallpaper on the preview right here. So now is the iOS 17 wallpaper and this actually didn't change since iOS 15. So if you have a device on iOS 16 right now, you can take a look at that and it will still be the iOS 15 wallpaper. It didn't change even on iOS 17 until now. So beta six will change that. Another change here, if you go to display zoom, you will also see that this has changed as well. So again, here we have the iOS 17 wallpaper, but also we have a few like different colors there for the icons and the font for the clock now has also changed to the iOS 17 font. And on the health app, if you go to the mental well-being and you wanna lock something, you will notice now that if you go here, and actually try to add something here. So it says what's having the biggest impact on you. Now you can actually choose weather as well. So you can see we previously only had these with the current events, money and all that stuff. But now you can also select weather from here and even add additional context right there. And there's also a new splash screen for the weather app. Even though there is nothing new here, it will basically show you all the new features and changes that Apple has added. The main ones, of course, that Apple has added to the Photos app with iOS 17. So you will have albums in the photo widget, which is a great feature. You can now select any album you want to, to just show on the home screen. Then you will have pets album, pinch to crop, and of course, more customizable memory. So you will have this splash screen explaining all these new features. So these are the 12 new features that Apple has added to iOS 17 beta 6. And this is the performance of iOS 17 beta 6. Now taking a look here at the single core score, this actually is not changing a lot since beta one is at 2,645 here with beta six, which is actually quite a good score. And we have here 6,946 on the multi-core score. Now I got just a little, just a little over 7,000 with beta five, but this is actually not looking bad at all. And I will do this test again in a couple of days once this update sets in and it should, it should actually be way, way better. And now let's move on to the battery settings. Now, of course, it's just a day since we installed this beta, so we cannot actually talk about battery performance here. So we will have to wait for another three or four days to see that, but just to get like an idea of how battery life is doing with beta, actually the beta five, before we moved on to beta six, you can see right here at exactly 100%, we got eight hours and 38 minutes on screen, which is not bad at all, considering that the battery health has actually dropped to 89%. Yes, we're just like a month away from the one year mark since I bought this device and it's already at 89%. This is like a huge flaw with the iPhone 14s. Everyone is actually complaining about this. The battery is dropping really, really fast with these devices. And I'm actually surprised that it didn't drop again once I updated to iOS 17 beta six, because every time I've been updating to a new beta, I see this drop a point or two, which is actually really, really annoying. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. These are the 12 new features and all the changes that Apple has added to iOS 17 beta six. Again, from now on, expect Apple to release a new beta of iOS 17 every week until the public release of iOS 17, which again will most likely be September 18th. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you on the next one.